Hello again, my name is Gabe Zolna. This is the 19th of January, 2019. I've made mention of a number of these various operations in the past, but I'm going to go through four of them and I'm going to attach the link so you'll be able to see for yourself as to exactly what they all entail, but I'll give you a little bit of a rundown. And again, I've spoken about them in the past in previous videos. I'm going to start off with uh, the McKellum Memo. And the McKellum Memo was put together by the Joint Chief of Staffs and it was presented to uh, President Roosevelt. And it had eight points. And they told Roosevelt that if he follows those eight points, Japan will attack. Again, the only place Japan could attack is Pearl Harbor. And the reason that they moved out the aircraft carriers was because they knew that the attack was coming and they knew when it was going to come. They didn't warn the military that was on Pearl Harbor. And they sacrificed around 2,400 sailors, airmen, and citizens. And again, I'll, t I'll attach each one of these links. That's uh, the McCallum memo. And then we had an operation called Dirty Trick. An Operation Dirty Trick was put together by the Pentagon, I would imagine, and the various other entities, the CAA, the FBI, and that was designed to ensure that in the event that John Glenn didn't return from space, they could blame Cuba, which would be impetus to attack Cuba. Then you had Operation Paperclip. Paperclip was actually at the end of the Second World War, and that's when they brought in the Nazis, these doctors that butchered prisoners, and they brought them into the government to help create various medical procedures and to help the space race. And Operation Northwoods, well, Operation Northwoods was a real sick one. Actually, they were all sick ones. But Operation Northwoods was a plan that was put together by, again, those mental degenerates in the Pentagon and, I imagine, the CIA. And it was presented to President JFK. And the plan that they proposed was to blow up an American airline, to sink an American ship with Americans on board, and to strafe Cuban refugees coming from Cuba to Florida and blame it on Castro. Now, when you stop and think of any of these operations, you got to be really sick to try to implement them. More importantly, you got to be really sick to conceive them, to come up with them. And you've heard me say this before, I wonder what operational names they gave to 9-11. I wonder what operational names they gave to the Boston Marathon. I wonder what operation names they gave to Parkland School Shooting. Those are all CIA operations. Every last one of them was a CIA operation, as was Sandy Hook. Are you sort of getting an idea of how evil and corrupt our government truly is? It's very frightening. Nobody in their right mind would recommend blowing up an American ship, blowing up an American airliner so they can blame it on Cuba. Folks, these people will stop at nothing to achieve their objectives. Was that 747? that was blown out of the sky that they blamed on Gaddafi, another one of the operations? 
was the airliner flight 800 over the Atlantic that left LaGuardia and shortly after blew up and they blamed it on an electrical spark. Why was there electrical spark in a fuel tank? Doesn't make any sense. Was that another operation? That 757 that disappeared in Indonesia, was that another operation? Future generations might learn the truth, but in all probability many won't, because we still haven't. On the assassination of JFK, that was in 1963. I remember it like yesterday. I remember the takedown of the Twin Towers like yesterday. You really want to take a look at all these operations and again ask yourself a question. What kind of sick government would plan any of these? Hate to tell you. That's what they do at the Pentagon. That's what they do in Washington. Scary, is it not? I'll attach these links. You look at them. And you tell me what you think. You might want to repost this in all your social media accounts. You might want to pass it along to your like-minded friends. I wonder what operational name they gave to the assassination of President JFK and the assassination of his son, JFK Jr. I have no doubt that they did have operational names associated with those various programs. That's scary. Real scary. Thanks for listening.